Hi and welcome to my maths class. Now, what I had done when we were doing present value is that I always emphasize that we are talking of right now. And when we are talking of right now, we are always talking of present value. Now, if I give you a basic question, the reason I am doing this question is because I want to show you how do you calculate balance of a loan. Now, if they say that Anna wants to buy a house, she gives a deposit of 12%, which is equal to 102,000 rand. Now, 12% is equal to 102,000 rand. What would 1% equal to? Divided by 12. So 1% would equal to 1% is equal to 8,500. Now, what are they asking you? Calculate the selling price of the house. The selling price would be 100%. So you're going to take the 1% and you're going to calculate 100%. which is 850,000. Now, they now saying calculate her monthly installments if she's charged 9% compounded monthly. Now you must remember that if she's taking a loan, she's getting the bulk of her money right now. So we are using a present value formula. Right. What you also must remember is that she's not taking a loan for 850,000 rand. She is taking a loan for 850000 minus her deposit. She doesn't need to take a loan on her deposit. So her present value is 748,000 rand. So how did I get that? I took the price of the house and I subtracted the deposit. Now we don't have x, but we know the i is 9 over 100 divided by 12 because it is compounded monthly. And then she's taking the loan for 20 years. Now if she's taking the loan for 20 years, then we know we're going to have 20 times 12, which is 240. Now, if you see, we've got 3 out of 4. It is simply substituting into the formula. Using your algebra, you can solve for x. And x is going to equal to... 6,729.95 but then they say round it off to the nearest rand. They don't usually say that in an exam so if you don't round it off you would still be okay but let us round it off in this question. Now look at what is the next question. Calculate the balance of the loan after her 85th payment. Now if I am paying something and so many years passed and then I go to the bank and I say I want the balance of the loan. When I go to the bank, I am going right now. And that's what you must remember. When you're doing balance, you are going to the bank now. And if you are going to the bank now, then it means we are doing present value. Now if you take your present value, what is different is that you now want to know what do I owe the bank which means you want to know what is the present value you've got what you are paying the bank right you have the interest which you had done previously it was 3 over 400 But what is important is your N. When you're working out your N, you need to see 
how many months are left so the n is your issue how many months left And that is important. So if you were going to pay 240, you've already paid 85. Then how many months do you still have left? You have 155 months left. Then you go to your formula. You substitute what you have. Our N is negative 155 all over 3 over 400. Right, what is nice is that since you're solving for PV, all you have to do is press it into your calculator as you see it. You would have PV, which is your present value. So how much do you owe the bank right now? You owe them 615,509 rand comma 74 cents. So this is your balance of the loan. Balance of the loan is exactly like present value. Thank you for watching.